Hi everybody, my name is Stephanie Thiessen and I'm your Gel Moment Independent Distributor. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I am super excited to show you guys how easy this St. Patrick's Day inspired manicure is. We're going to use some colors Clearly Frisky, Tootie Cutie, Lovey Dovey and Emerald Envy. Plus we're going to use some Chrome Powders Northern Lights number 9 and Andromeda number 5. So I'm going to start by showing you the twisted French manicure that I have on three of my fingers. I've got the twisted French with the Northern Lights Chrome mixed with Clearly Frisky and I use these sample containers to just mix up uh, the polishes that I'm going to use. So I have Northern Lights Chrome mixed with Clearly Frisky in the container and you just mix it up until you have a nice even consistency. And we have Tootie Cutie as the base on the nail stick. So because I'm using a nail stick, I've used a Sharpie to create the smile line on my nail stick here. When you're doing it on your natural nail, you can just follow the natural smile line of your natural nails to create this French manicure look. You'll notice I'm using a wooden cuticle pusher for this look. I like using the wooden cuticle pusher for many of my nail art designs. I find that it's a little bit more precise than a brush for certain things and it's almost like using a pencil. I also like using the other end of the cuticle pusher, the flat end. It helps me clean up my designs and give them more of that crisp, clean look. Once you get the chrome polish mixture all over the entire tip of the nail where you want it to be so you have the French look, you want to give it a full cure using your gel moment lamp. It's really important to make sure that you don't have too much polish on the end of the nail, otherwise it won't cure properly. So really make sure that you are using thin coats as well. It covers really, really well because of the chrome powder, so you will only need to use one coat, but just make sure that you don't use too much. Now I'm using the mixture of Andromeda and Clearly Frisky to create that gold accent line along the French manicure tip. After another full cure for the gold accent line, you are going to seal everything in using a coat of Clearly Frisky. Make sure that you are capping your nail so that you do seal in all of that chrome polish mixture at the end of your nail for your French manicure. Next, I'm going to show you how to do this gold cloverleaf design using a mix of Andromeda and Clearly Frisky over Emerald Envy. I'm going to start by putting two dots where I want the top part of one of the cloverleaf petals to be. The cool thing is that the cloverleaf petals really do just look like four hearts. So you can create this look by just creating four hearts where they end up meeting in the middle with their points. So create the heart look, do a flash cure really quickly after you get your first petal where you want it to be and how you want it to look, and then start by doing the opposite side of the second petal so that you can create an even looking clover leaf. Once you start creating your second leaf, you may need to go over your first one again just to make it more even and symmetrical so that they look the same. Then you are going to do another flash cure quickly to make sure that it's set and it's not going to move in case you need to wipe it off. And then you'll just continue until you get the fourth one done and you'll do a full cure once you have all four of those leaves on the clover leaf done. Then we're going to do the stem. This stem is a very, very thin, thin stem. And so I do use the pointed end of the wooden cuticle pusher to create that line. And then I use the flat end of the wooden cuticle pusher to clean it up and make the line a little bit thinner. After another full cure, you just need to seal in with Clearly Frisky and your gold clover leaf is all done. Lastly, I'm going to show you probably the most complicated part of this manicure, the argyle. I am going to start by creating a dot right in the center of the nail. This is going to be the center of that first diamond right in the middle of the nail. So you create the center dot to create your square points or your diamond points around. 
Then you connect those dots to create the diamond look. Although this is the most complicated design of this manicure, it is actually still very, very easy. So you want to start by creating these diamonds, making sure that they are centered in the middle of the nail. Once you have it all nicely even and completely filled in, you want to use the flat end of your wooden cuticle pusher to clean up those lines and make those points a little bit cleaner. For this design, I used two coats of Lovey Dovey as the base color. You could also use Meet Me at the Chapel instead. Then we're going to flash cure this diamond. A flash cure is just a quick cure, about five seconds. It just makes sure that the polish is solidified enough so that if you do make a mistake on the next part of your design and you need to wipe off the nail, that part, the first part that you have flash cured, isn't going to wipe off with the rest of the wet polish. Once you are done painting the diamonds, you want to do a full cure on the diamonds before moving on to the next part of this design. Next we'll do the gold stripes on the Argyle look. I'm using the Andromeda Clearly Frisky mix that I created for this gold chrome polish. And I'm going to start by creating an X in the middle of the middle diamond. This is going to help keep your lines nice and straight and help you to follow the line all the way through the diamond to create an even line, a straight line, all the way through from one side to the other. Once your first line is where you want it, flash cure it so that it doesn't move in case you need to wipe off any mistakes that you make later. For these gold lines, I'm using the medium size striper brush from the Gel Moment Creativity Set. I find that this brush does a really good job of creating straight, clean lines, so that's why I decided to use it for this design. You can also use the cuticle pusher, the wooden cuticle pusher, or a toothpick to create these lines as well. Whenever you flash cure a part of your design, it is important to make sure that you do end up doing a full cure before moving on to the next part of your design. Now that we're done the stripes here on our Argyle, we're going to do a full cure before topping off and finishing with Clearly Frisky. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a happy St. Patrick's Day and if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know.